Ladies and greetings, ladies and gentlemen, it's your number one fan Asian coming to you again with another one of these rebuild parodies slash get a team relegated experiments. Don't know how to really... F yeah. You guys really seem to enjoy when I tried to get Manchester City relegated, and even in the game of FIFA, it's, it's goddamn near impossible. Although it must be said, there was a fair bit of Manchester City fans in there because it, it got a lot of dislikes too. And the number one vote for which team I should relegate next is, I think fairly, Manchester United. I, a Manchester United fan, today have to go ahead and do my damnedest to get Manchester United relegated within one season. If I do not get them relegated within this season, then I have to go ahead and tweet out something amazing about Manchester City. It'll be the top upvoted thing in the comment section, and this is gonna hurt because this weekend is the Manchester Derby, so I'll do it right after the Derby. <laughs> So I'm gonna play no favors. I wanna get them relegated. Also, no big deal, but as I'm filming this, LA is currently on fire. This is the view from my roof. You can see over here on the Hollywood sign, all that smoke is from the fire, and then there's a second fire over here near UCLA. What's crazy is, turn over here, that, there's no fire here, that's just LA smog. So this is the final video that you ever see of the fat Asian. You know that I burned and died a horrible death. And if that is not worth a like, I, I really don't know what it is. So go ahead, smush it into the like button right now. Because honestly, when was the last time you saw Jared HD risk his life for a rebuild, huh? Balls in your court, Jared. Without further ado, let's try to do this as quickly as possible so I don't burn alive. And now as it goes ahead and gets set up, um, a little bit of input from you guys in the last episode. You thought that me changing around and making the custom formations was too easy. And I honestly think, yeah, it was way too easy. <laughs> Essentially what you could do is you could make it so that they had like zero attackers or they had like zero defense. And then that would just cripple the whole team, no matter kind of who and what the personnel was. So for this go around, I am not allowed to change it into a custom formation. I can still change the formation, but just nothing that breaks. So go ahead, vote up in the other things right now. Do you think that I can go ahead and relegate Manchester United within one season? All right, I got a new strategy this time. First, I'm gonna go for aging greats. So, you know, people like Schneider, Charisma, Bruno, Ribri, Jonas, Iniesta. All right, if you couldn't tell uh, from the footage you just witnessed, the first take of this got corrupted. Luckily, I spotted it rather quickly, so I reset everything back up exactly how it was before, and the continuity is just gonna be perfect. All right, guys, so nothing has changed right here. We're still at the start of the season, July 1st of 2017. Uh, something that I didn't realize is that this year, it has changed. I can only release two players. So the optimal strategy would be to get this team down to bare bones until you only have two players of note left. Also, another thing I gotta worry about is Manchester United have a substantial budget, as you can see right here, a hundred forty-eight million. I somehow gotta get rid of that. This is gonna be a long journey, guys. I'm gonna have to start going ahead and trading away a whole bunch of players. As you can see on my transfer hub, I got a whole bunch of older gentlemen on here. My logic kind of being, I'm gonna try to trade out our top end players for these older players who are still expensive. That way we're getting rid of money as well as talent that could possibly grow over the season and exchanging them for players who are gonna degrade over the season. Honestly, in order for me to even have a shot at relegating this team, I think I'm gonna have to do upwards of like 30 to 50 transfers. <laughs> so for that, I'm not gonna show you every single transfer here. I'm just probably gonna show you the highlights and then maybe like hot montage it together. And of course, above all else, we have to get the relegation master himself, Leroy Fur, into the side. But you want to win the league, you want players on your team who have won the league. If you want to get your team relegated, you want players who have been relegated multiple times. And I don't think there is someone with more relegation experience than Leroy Fur. Leroy Fur, what's up, brother? All right, they down. What a deal. What a deal. Marcus Rashard for Leroy Fur. You can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. It is Christmas. And I've been delegating a lot of these deals. No, 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 no. I cannot leave this up to risk. I'm going to do this personally. Leroy, for come on in, buddy. Come on in. You are going to be the key cock, the centerpiece to my masterpiece. Anything your heart desires, I would give you. A 21 million release cost. Why not? Why not? 
and 100k a week is too low. Too low, Leroy. Welcome to Manchester United. Ooh. Antonio Valencia for Charlie Adam. Bro, as far as bad transfers go, that might be a goddamn grand slam. All right. I see you have the Sex Fabregas, but would you like a Paul Pogba? Oh, oh, I see, Conte. You are interested in this deal. Gotta reunite Jose with sex, man. He loves the sex. As you can see, we got a bunch of offers on the table right here. I'm having them uh, delegate a lot of this stuff. So, uh, Leighton Baines, Habergas, Di Maria, Ribery, Iniesta, and Robin could be joining the side really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead, sim it forward, and see what's up. Go time All right, after initial run of transfers, this is the team so far. The only spot that realistically has some shitters in there are the fullbacks. So you got Ashley Young, who's actually been playing really good in real life, and then you got Joe Riley. He's our only right back on the side. Uh, we got rid of Pogba. We got rid of, do we still got, uh, yeah, we still have Mkhitaryan in here. We got rid of uh, Lukaku up front. Martial and Rashford are gone. Although, I mean, it's not even an argument. Ribery and Robin are better than them, so we got to go ahead and try to strip them out as well. I'm making good progress here. You know, it's not going to be just one fell swoop. I'm chipping away like a beaver. Ooh, me likey, me likey. And Barcelona coming in for David De Gea. I don't even gotta ship him out properly. Get that with the hair off my hand, buddy. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Go time with it! Alright, we made it to the first game of the season, so we're about a month and a half in, and I have made excellent progress. Oh! We take a first L though. Interesting. That is a good sign if we lose to West Ham. Essentially, you can see it down here how many people we have transferred in. Literally, how many transfers have I made? Let me do the count. Let me do the quick one, two, three, four, five, six, twenty-seven! 27 transfers as you can see every single one of these was a trade I traded someone out to go ahead and get this player and then you can see a lot of these faces not even on the team anymore I would then turn around and trade them out for an even shittier player So first like for example, I had Ribery I trade out Martial for Ribery and then I turned around I trade out Ribery for Andy Carroll and then I trade went ahead turned around trade out Andy Carroll for Charlie Adam I just systematically chipped away at this club's value this is how much effort I got to put into this in order to actually get this team to relegate. But if you repeat this process over and over again, you will eventually get to an area where your team has to get relegated. Very, very time consuming. It's an away match this time. And we take it down. Oh my God, I might've done it. Even with Indiana and all of them in the lineup, I might've goddamn done it. And we're gonna welcome in a fellow YouTuber and streamer Oh, uh, you know what? I was gonna delegate this, but let's let's talk. I've never really um, spoken with David Myler before, so this is our first time meeting. Hey, what's up, David? Welcome to the episode. Three-year deal. I can do that. You're gonna spend your twilight years here. And you know what? If you just want to sit on the side, not actually play a game, if you want to like just have an Xbox or a PlayStation in the dugout while we're while we're playing, I mean that's cool, man. Pop open those packs a little bit. All right, sounds good, man. Welcome David Myler to Project Relegation. What? We got a win? How did we get a win up against Leicester? That was the strongest team we played. I still got work to do, boys. I still got work to do. We got our first dub of the season, which means we're probably out of the relegation zone. We are. God damn it. Ah, oh, jokes though. Liverpool's below us. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do right now while I have the finances. All right, let's see. 177 million. I'm gonna go over to Squad Hub and I'm not going to delete Iniesta. The reason why is because his stamina is so goddamn low. His stamina is at 54 and it's lost four since we've started. He's gonna be a non-factor. I think the guys that I should delete our Mkhitaryan, easy. So go ahead, release him for eight million. I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna release Fabregas. All right, so this is the lineup that I'm going into uh, the initial half of the season. I probably am not gonna make it to the next transfer window. Not with this team. You got Jonas up top. Uh, he is already prehistoric. What's his age at? He's at 33. He's already degrading it. He might bag a goal or two, but I'm okay with that. What you got behind him is Fernando Torres, Troy Deeney, James Wilson. I'll deal with it. And he has to at the cam position. He's got decent players behind him. He got uh, Yaya Torre, Charlie Adam, uh, David Meyer. 
Parolo. And that makes up the midfield. You know, you got Carrick and you got Mata in here. Essentially, we have no wingers. And I think that's what's killing this team. You got this Dern Dernley guy who's a striker, really. And then you have no one who can really play the right mid side. Remember, we made the rule. I can't make a custom formation. I didn't say that I couldn't sell off everyone that I could because that's that's kind of up to fate. And then on the left side, as you can see, there, there's no wingers. At the left back position, we got Ashley Young. Behind him, you have Milner. And then at the right back position, I don't think we have anyone. So that one's going to be a toughie. Uh, center backs, we only have one set of them. We have Jagielka and this William kid. And then um, in between the sticks, you got Romero, you got Gilmas, you got Borch. It's actually probably a point of uh, strength over here as the keeper. So here you guys go. That is the squad. Let's take it all the way to the transfer deadline day. Is the peace day resistance the last thing that I'm gonna do because I'm more than likely to get fired by the time we get to the halfway point? Go over to finances, go over to budget. You can see right here we got 185 million that I need to get rid of. Easiest way to spend money, you go to the U staff. You buy whoever is the most expensive, and then you fire their ass, and then you rinse and you repeat. All right, as you can see, we now have a bright, excellent scouting network of one star, one stars. And we go over to finance. You can see that in our budget, we have roughly a million. So I've done pretty much everything that I can. I transfer away every player of note. I brought in a bunch of shitty old players. I bankrupted this company in the way that only an American can. If this is not get relegated, I don't know what will, man. It this would be the ultimate kick in the dick because this literally took me like three hours to do. And if they do not get relegated I and I still have to put some dumbass shit on Twitter, I'm gonna fucking huck my controller out the window. Take it away, Joey Wheeler. Go time with it. Well, I'll be damned. I made it in January. What are we looking at? What are we looking at right here? Man United, top goal scorer for our team is Ashley Young. Five goals, three assists. I mean, he's United's best player right now in real life, so how we how we not shook. James Miller has four goals, Jonas has four goals, and yes, has got three. Tepid, tepid, that's actually like a decent amount of goals though, so let's see where we stand in the- What, 13? How far away are we from the relegation? Oh my god. I give up. I give up, I give up, I give up. Bruh, I, I spent like, I spent like three hours just recycling over and over and over again, just through the transfers, man. I'm, I'm fucking exhausted and it's not even close. Seven points off, seven points off relegation. And Newcastle, what the fuck are you doing? Even more banter levels, Liverpool is right above us. Oh, fuck. I don't even know, man. You gotta be kidding me. I wasted like three hours of my life doing all those goddamn transfers. I'm gonna edit, put this video out, and then I still gotta watch Manchester United get the ass whooped by Man City. And after that, most likely put out some dumb shit on Twitter. Alright, bro. Honestly, I have been trying for the past hour to somehow get rid of goddamn Jonas, but no team, no team will accept him. I have tried legitimately like, like 40 different possible transfers and all of them are like, no, I want like a right back or, oh, he doesn't really fit our team. So I'm, I'm done, man. I, I just don't have the willpower anymore. I've been at this for probably like a combined four and a half hours now. I'm Sim Ford. Honestly, I think we're too high. <laughs> We're too high for me to really affect anything. So, fuck it. I'm a sim forward and wherever I end up, I end up. If I have to take a L here, to take a L. Just go, Time Wizards. Go, Time Wizards! Oh, we got a, a glimmer of hope here. It says, Mr. Fuck You Jose, we regret to inform you that the board has decided to remove you from your position as manager of the club. I was at a 42 when I got fired. Still, pretty slim chance that they're gonna get relegated. But hey, yeah, you never know. Ah! Oh, the Bants, I get to take over for Newcastle. <laughs> what? I was, bro, you let me be manager for
for two days and then you farm me as well? <laughs> well, I couldn't have predicted that. Sure, give me Bolton now. You're gonna fire me too? How many times can I get fired in one fucking experiment? What? <laughs> I've come to talk with you again. Because I am so free. I got. I've been fired three times over the past like 20 days. This is incredible. This one comes, what, less than 10 days after I got fired from the last show. What am I gonna get? What can I possibly get now? Amazing. I, I'm now, I started with Manchester United. I'm gonna go all the way down to Doncaster. This is sensational. I don't understand what they expect me to do. They bring me in for like literally 10 days and then they fire my ass. I was, I was at Manchester like here. Then I got fired, rehired like here, and I got fired again, here. Go time with it. All right, we did get fired for once. Held on to her job for more than two weeks. Um, all right, how do I go to other leagues here and check out the table? All right, let's mercilessly end this. England, Lim what? Wait, what the fuck? Why is it a hundred? What? Is this like over the course of two seasons? Why is it at 150 points? What the flying fuck is going on? This game is so fucked. <laughs> we got 46 games played for these two. And then somehow for the Premier League, it's 74. Um, I'm guessing if they ended up in, I mean, let's be honest. If they ended up in fifth place over the course of the last two seasons, they didn't get relegated in my season. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna chalk this up to a big fat L on my part, okay? I'm done. I don't even care, bro. I am done. I don't, I don't know what the fuck is happening. I don't care anymore. I've been fired like 17 times over the past, like real life, 15 minutes. I got fired like three times. Go ahead, write it in the comment section down below. Some humiliating ass shit I have to say about Man City and I'll post it the instant that the Manchester Derby is over, so. It can't be some world of JCC bullshit where it's like, I'm not really aging, I gotta explain myself. No, it has to be Man City related. If you wanna see me attempt it with Man City, go ahead and click over here, Dingsy Poos. Also, if you wanna check out my latest experiment, click over here. I'm giving away a copy of FIFA 18, so check that out as well. And that is it from me, Be modest. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble, and be weird. Until next time, stay chubby.